All right, this is John here from Faithful Servants of Christ. I'm going to show you how Roman Catholicism is the biggest cult on the planet. And why, why do I call them a cult? Well, because they have a doctrine called papal supremacy. And the doctrine of papal supremacy, it says that the Pope can do whatever he wants with unhinged. He has unhinged, unchallenged, unquestioned authority. That's the doctrine of papal supremacy. Basically, look at the Pope. He has his unquestioning authority. He can just do whatever he wants, and, and you can't question him. I mean, that is a cult by definition. A cult is this group that has basically a leader on top who just does whatever he wants, and that's what the Pope is. I mean, they believe in what's called uh, papal infallibility. The Pope just is infallible. He cannot teach any wrong doctrine, which is ridiculous. And they have all these doctrines, and if you don't believe any of their doctrines, they'll pronounce you as a heretic and burn you at the stake. Well, they used to do that, and they're going to be doing that during the time of Jacob's trouble. But the Catholic Church is a big cult because the definition of a cult is you have a religious group and there's basically no salvation outside of the Catholic Church and they are the one true shining light, the one true church, and that the Pope is the man of God. You just don't dare question him. That is a cult. I mean, look at the Westboro Baptist Church. Look at the Nation of Islam. They're cults. You just don't question what the leader says. I mean, my cat is meowing. The, 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 the characteristic, of all, characteristic of all cults is, the one, is, is you don't question what the leader says. With the Pope, with their papal supremacy doctrine, what the Pope is unchallenged, un again, just Google papal supremacy. It literally says the Pope has unchallenged, unquestioned obedience. You just don't dare question what he says. I mean, just by definition, that is a cult. The Roman Catholic Church is a bigger, even bigger than Islam. I mean, the Catholic Church is, is, um, it's a system of control. The, the, they tell their followers, we don't want you reading the Bible. You have to have the church interpret the Bible for you. And before you say, well, you're just ignorant of Roman Catholicism, um, I have all their sources. I have the Catechism. I have the First Communion Catechism. I have the Second Vatican Council. I have the Council of Trent. All on my computer. So don't tell me, oh, you're ignorant of Roman Catholicism. Uh, no, I actually have all your sources. And it's perfectly righteous to call the Catholic Church a cult because of this unquestioning obedience they have for the Pope. And nowhere does the Bible ever per permit the bishops and the and church leaders to have this unquestioning obedience. I mean, where's that in the Bible? They say, oh, we, ga we gave you the Bible. No, you didn't. Okay, first of all, the Catholic Church did, did not give us the Bible. Uh, the Bible is given to us by Jesus Christ. And no, Matthew chapter 16, I think, or is it Matthew 18? I don't know. They, they twisted the verse where, where Jesus tells Peter, upon this rock I'll build my church. And funny, they twist the verse because they say, see, look, Peter's the first pope. Well, first of all, Peter was married, so that, that, that would automatically disqualify him for being a pope. And second of all, notice how Jesus says, upon this rock, for referring to himself. So Peter was not the rock. So totally butchering that verse. And it's funny because a few verses later, Jesus actually rebukes Peter and calls him Satan. So how does that work? But the Catholic Church, like all cults, they say they, 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 they have the, I guess, the biblical authority to determine doctrine. And whatever they, whatever they, they uh, by the Holy Spirit, they interpret, whatever, whatever they de de decree, you have to believe or else they're going to mark you as a heretic and condemn you to hell. Basically, and one of their doctrines, they, and, and again, this is a cult. I mean, if you don't believe, if you don't agree with us, we're going to kick you out. You're going to be condemned to hell. That's a cult. And one of their doctrines they make you believe is the Trinity. They say the Trinity is the most important key uh, factor, uh, factor of the Christian faith. It is the essential truth of the Christian faith. And they believe the Trinity is God in Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And God the Father does appear in Scripture, but God the Holy Ghost and God the Son appear nowhere in Scripture. The proper term is Son of God and Holy Ghost, not God the Son and God the Holy Ghost. My cat is messing around in the background. So, and, and let me give you a brief synopsis of what the Trinity is, or not the Trinity, what they call the Trinity is not the biblical Godhead. The biblical Godhead, I've written in my notes here at the bottom. The biblical Godhead is Jesus is the body. See Philippians 2, 5 to 11. Kitty, what are you doing? Like cat, look, look at them. They're just playing with a, you probably can't see them. The biblical Godhead is basically Jesus is the body. That is Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 11, and Hebrews chapter 1, verse uh, 3, and Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8. Jesus is the body. God the Father is the soul. See, uh, that's in Matthew chapter 12, verse 18, Matthew chapter 17, verse 5, kitty. Matthew chapter 17, verse 5, and Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, and the Holy Ghost is the Spirit. See, Acts chapter 5, verse 3 to 9. So the Godhead consists of body, soul, spirit. Three, the, you know, these three are one. First John five seven. So don't believe this pagan Trinity lie. I've done videos exposing the Trinity, but the Catholic Church they anathematize and condemn to hell anyone who rejects their pagan Trinity. That's a cult. You know, cult again. What's a cult? If you're not with us, you're on your way to hell. 
So the Catholic Church is perfectly okay to call the Catholic Church Kitty. The biggest cult on the planet, because it is. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.